You mentioned AI from an innovative technological standpoint, but also what, how is the university dealing with AI use among its students mm -hmm. in the classroom? Well, that's a great question. Uh, before I answer that question, uh, I just want to point out that we do work with countries, for example, uh, Japan in our partnership in workforce talent and in job creation and in innovation, all three of them. Uh, in fact, just a few hours ago, uh, President Biden, after meeting with the Prime Minister of Japan, uh, talked about Purdue and University of Chicago uh, in leading the semiconductors and quantum, respectively, collaboration between our two countries, uh, the United States and Japan. Uh, Purdue just signed with the Indian government, the India Semiconductor Mission, with uh, Minister Ashwini Vashnau last week, a MOU of uh, talent and innovation collaboration between India and Purdue. And then earlier this month, at Secretary Raimondo's Select USA event in DC, Governor Holcomb, Senator Young, and I signed the partnership agreement with uh, Luke, who's the CEO of IMAC, located in Belgium, but working really as the uh, epicenter of European innovation and workforce for semiconductors. So I just want to highlight that uh, we are working indeed also with uh, uh, countries such as Japan, India, Belgium, now, as to AI, uh, in fact, this is something that uh, you cannot escape from. You know, apparently, uh, every single conversation there's a bit of AI. I even wanted uh, AI to write my commencement speech. Purdue has the tradition where the president delivers the commencement speech uh, as spring commencement, which has had that last weekend because we give diploma to every single graduates. We have to do it nine times over in three days. Uh, about 10,000 Boilermakers uh, received their degree and they had to listen to me uh, and I asked ChatGPT to write it for me after I finished drafting my own. And I'll tell you that, uh, thank goodness, what I wrote and what uh, ChatGPT gave me had very little overlap. I guess I did not follow the circular cliche on the web too much. Uh, but here at Purdue, we believe that just like calculators, after calculators, we still teach children how to add numbers, but we no longer emphasis on arithmetic speed. How fast can you add numbers? It's more about how can you translate real world problems into mathematical formulations. And so we believe that we should teach AI and teach with AI. We should do research in AI, especially in physical AI. We'll come back to that perhaps. Uh, so we have launched multiple majors and minor certificates in AI and its applications, because we want our students, when they graduate into the workforce, to be able to not only appreciate how to work with AI, to focus their time on human-specific tasks, but also understand the pitfalls, limitations, risks, uh, and unintended consequences of using AI. So we have not only AI in STEM, we have a philosophy department sponsored major in AI and the implications of AI to define what is uniquely human versus machines.